Uh, for some time I've been contemplating the thoughts of uh, how to go about building a magnetic motor or a Bendini motor and you know I'm not a hundred percent sure that a magnetic motor or a self-generating motor you know can actually work. I've seen lots of YouTube videos and there are a good couple of designs out there that that do seem to work and I can't see any flaws with their design or, or I don't see any way that the video was faked in other words now I've had this idea for a Bendini motor and uh, your standard Bendini motor that you usually see has the magnets all on the outside and well I'm thinking that you get you know like a one-to-one -one ratio off that of course you know the the coil you have your coil the magnet comes down and then the coil charges and then pushes it off again but I was wondering what would happen if you change the ratio of the amount of push that you get from that you can easily do that by moving your magnet all the way to here and when the magnet is pushed off the coil you know you're gonna get X amount of force off that right and from here it's gonna like give it that much of a push but if you were to move your magnet to here or somewhere in here closer to the center and then it comes down and from this point when the coil engages it's going to give a lot more push to that wheel and this would just be the magnet that gets pushed you would still have a magnet out here that would go past the coil that collects the charge you'll shift down a gear to make it a little bit harder to pedal you'll gain a little speed again gaining a little more speed and as it gets easier and you're going faster you'll continue to downshift to harder or smaller cogs on the back. Now we're in the hardest gear on the bike and you're cruising along at high speed. So let me run that to you by you again. If you have your magnet, if you have your standard magnet and coil to drive the system, you know the magnet comes to this point, engages, and then pushes it off, you're only going to get X amount of force and like say you might you, you might get enough energy to spin the wheel around once but if you put your magnet here somewhere in here and you have your coil that pushes when this gets to here that push is going to be amplified and kick this wheel a lot further you're going to have a lot more oomph out of that w same push and that should send the wheel spinning around a couple times maybe three or four times depending on various factors so you know I haven't actually tried the Bedini motor but you know as you see I got a couple parts here and I might try it sooner or later but I wanted to give you my idea on this um, in case somebody else gets interested and wants to try it. So anyway, that's my idea.